162 piss and um, this is the Bosch GDS 18V 216 Professional. Uh, I was given this by Bosch Tools as a demo in the Bosch Y Table Tool Test. Um, the actual table saw was given, I did purchase the actual table separate. Um, because I don't want to give us that. But it basically runs on 18 volt single battery. Um, give us a 5.5 lithium amp battery um, to test. But I'll go a few, few things off the bat. The actual push button is canny. Big. Obviously, push down to go off, push up to go on. Controls itself are basically simplistic. Start, move, 45. It is tight like a boat. Not the worst one. Um, obviously, up and down. Blades, max capacity 70 mm. Um, obviously, height. That goes down easy enough. Um, has got. That's the control for the arm to lock that in place. And this hook stick, which is a tiny place to keep that. Whether or not it's staying there, I don't know. But obviously, guards for the blade. This, the actual key, I haven't found a place to put that. Uh, tell us if I'm wrong, but that's going to go missing. Um, Coming up the table, the table itself is canny. Um, obviously, it's got the grooves for you and your degree of bed, our angle gauges. However, the dial itself, the numbers, is a bit complicated. Um, and obviously, you pull the lever underneath to release it. It is pretty hard to get. An accurate number when you're pushing it along. It doesn't have a control knob like the waltz in order to give you some degree of mic wood, um, which isn't ideal to be honest. But I just know what it's. I don't know where you want to pull it to try to move it, but no matter where you move it, soon. Just go up to 635 mil right. Um, obviously you lock that in there, and it is tight, and it does have a guide there which is flush with the tabletop to rest your stuff on. But at this point, I don't particularly like the way you have to do that. But I'll get the battery in, and we'll see what it's like. Right, I've had now give or take 10 20 minutes to work this out so put that off there you've got two sets of mocks obviously this as you were here would be for a left lock if you're gonna lock the table on the left hand side but going here you now lock the fence between 0 to 90 
up to 290. Then, gotta release this knot, and then push the table out, which will then take you up to your 635. But, however, that's where it gets complicated for some apparent reason. Push up at zero, which is there. Lock that back in. Put this to zero here. Which, as you can see, that goes to zero. And you've got to lock that in. So, if you release the lad, you cannot then move the table out. So that's got to be stayed shut. Now, if you want to then move your measurements, you've got to release this lock and then slide it along to whatever desired measurement. But this has to be done manual with your hand. There's no other control over that. So that will take you then up to 290, which then you have to lock in there. Then from 290, you have to use this lever, which then pushes out to sweep hand all the way up to 613, which, as I said before, is a bit of a pain to try to get right accurately. But it does go, it's probably easier to run. Now, where it gets complicated is if you want to move this back to zero, if you release this, and then if this is being left out, and you then try to go back to zero, which I'm not saying you're going to do, but you're then off. But then you can move that. Now, if you keep moving it backwards and forwards, I do see you doing that. Somehow you're just going to forget. Move that, go 50 mil, 60 mil, lock that in, make your measurement. But in theory, you turn them off zero. So it's not going to be right. So going back, you need to make sure that that's locked in. But I still don't mind the fact this isn't that bad. Up to 290, slide and lock. But then when you come to this, it gets a bit fidgety, which yeah, isn't a massive issue, but I think if you're doing it all the time, it's going to get a bit complicated. Um, obviously, I've got the battery now in, 5.5 amp, uh, push button. <laughs> So, move it back to zero. 50 mil. Get some bits. I'll come back here. Right. This is a bit standard 80 mil MDF. Turn this on. itself is chunky in back side it's a bit of spin there but it's not what's on me right bit of standard CLS Fruity tail soft wood try it up here It's gonna last for what I use it for. It's probably not gonna be a great deal of issue. Um, as I say, you got two batteries, one on charge. It's not gonna create a problem really. Only thing is, 
I don't particularly like this that much. Obviously up to 200 mil, it's nice, it gets fidgety after that. However, if you've just knocked that, you go a couple of mil, your measurements are out. I just see that being a bit of an issue, but apart from that, I do like it. It's just that fence. I mean, surely you could have made it a bit more simple, a bit wrapping pinion knob, you know. But, as I say, power everything, flexibility, it is massive, um, don't get us wrong, it's not that portable, well of course it's stable, so, <laughs> but, I can't see many things wrong with it, as I say, just basically, the adjustment, and that's about it, to be quite honest.